What's happening guys, it's Bharat Nagpal for iGAN.in and today I'm going to be taking a look at the new Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this device was launched a couple of days back in uh, New Delhi uh, for the Indian uh, launch and uh, India was one of the first countries to get uh, this device uh, officially. Uh, now this device is available in the market for a retail price of about 42,000 rupees but uh, I believe and I did find out from a couple of sources that this uh, that you will be able to get this device for somewhere around 36, 37,000 rupees somewhere it's for 38,000 rupees so try and search for it get the best deal possible and uh, the device can be yours for about 36 to 38,000 rupees uh, now this is a fairly thin device it's an exceptionally thin device over here and uh, let's just take a quick overview of the device and uh, let's start with the front of the device so the front has an earpiece over here and uh, along with the Samsung logo you see two prominent sensors that have not been covered with white so you have two clear prominent sensors now one is a retina sensor and one is an ambient light sensor so that's absolutely great uh, let's talk about the camera over here uh, the secondary camera is a nice 1.9 megapixel camera and it does 720p HD video as well so you can do your video calling from uh, this uh, below that is uh, the impressive display and it's a 720 which is wide here 720 by 1280 pixel 4.8 inch uh, display uh, it's about 308 pixels per inch which is a fairly high density it's actually 306 pixels per inch not 308 below that you have two touch capacitive buttons at the bottom over here so you have a, a menu button which is on the left and you have a back button which is on the right and uh, it is basically for the TouchWiz user interface. On the right hand side of the device you'll see it's absolutely slim profile uh, but you will also see this tapered edge that they've tried to silhouette the kind of uh, look of the device. So it actually looks thinner than it is. It is fairly thin at just 8.6 millimeters on this device which is quite a thin uh, device. Uh, I forgot to mention there is also a blue LED indicator over here. Uh, so there is an LED light which is multicolored, I believe. And uh, you, can, you can't see that on the camera right now, but there is a light over here. And it's fairly prominent uh, off the camera. You have the power lock and unlock button located on the right for easy access from your uh, thumb or if you're a right-handed person or from your index finger if you're a left-handed person. And on the top over here, you will see a secondary microphone, which is located over here. And you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for your headphones and hands-free kits. On the left, again, you see the slim uh, profile silver look. It's actually all plastic. This is all a plastic bezel, which has an aluminum sort of uh, uh, a brushed aluminum finish to it. But it's actually plastic or it appears to be plastic. I'm not too sure if it's actually aluminum. It sounds and feels like plastic, so I'm hoping and I'm assuming that it's plastic. But uh, I will go deep into it and I'm actually going to try and scratch the surface a little bit. So we have the volume rockers on the left and on the bottom we have the primary microphone which is over here along with the micro USB charging data syncing port which is also located at the bottom. On the back is uh, the mega uh, talked about 8 megapixel sensor. Now we did try and take a couple of pictures with this and uh, the image quality was pretty good. Uh, you do have an LED light, again uh, the light not too special for us, it was okay. And uh, the loudspeaker which is over here, you have a nice Samsung logo and the same style of uh, Samsung uh, back covers that we've always seen. So these uh, plasticky little things uh, that uh, Samsung puts at the back, it just does not make the device feel very premium. But you do have uh, something like that in the back of the device. Uh, now if you look at this, this is the battery compartment and you have a nice and large battery over here and uh, the exact size of this battery is 2100 milliampere per hour, uh, milliampere hour and uh, it's a fairly large size battery for the device and if you remove the battery the device is like paper thin and paper light. It, basically there is no weight in the device and uh, the battery has most of the weight. So. I can only imagine if they can actually make batteries lighter, devices will become fairly light. Uh, this is the SIM card slot. Now this does take a micro SIM and it has a spring load action which I'm not too happy about because uh, we essentially do not need spring load actions. And uh, I had a s big problem with the Galaxy tab and my SIM card got stuck in there and the spring load mechanism failed. So I'm not too happy about the fact that this has a spring load mechanism. 
but it does have that over there and you have a micro SD card slot that takes up to 64 gigabyte uh, new age uh, micro SD 8C cards uh, class 10 cards are available for that uh, purpose and SanDisk makes them I believe so that is something uh, that you can consider if you want to uh, increase the capacity of the device now this is a 16 gigabyte version so it has 16 gigabyte on it and you can add up to 64 gigabytes you a quick hands-on tour of the interface and what they've done with ICS on this and uh, just to do that so uh, the minute you power on uh, the device, you will be able to see uh, this nice uh, lock screen. You tap on the screen, you'll hear uh, natural uh, water sounds and uh, you can't really hear them because of uh, the microphone that I'm using, but you hear uh, water sounds and it's basically bubbles. So uh, that's the kind of sound you hear. And uh, this is the notification system uh, that uh, Samsung has built right into the lock screen. So if you have missed calls or messages or anything of the, that sort, that will show here. You can simply drag it out to unlock the device. Uh, at the bottom, you also have quick launch for uh, your four favorite apps and uh, you can customize this obviously. And uh, this is somewhat uh, of a similar thing that you see on HTC Sense. So you have four quick launch uh, buttons over here, but you can basically unlock your device by simply dragging your finger across any part of the screen. Now you can see we have a live wallpaper running in the background and you have the nice clock and a weather app on the top over here. Uh, you get your weather information along with the date and time information over there and uh, you do have uh, seven home screens in the same Samsung uh, format that you always do. So uh, they have basically touch with uh, customized uh, the interface and uh, you can continue scrolling through the interface and you don't need to come back so you can continue scrolling towards the right or towards the left for easy access to the next app or you can simply jump from uh, the first one to the last one. It's as easy as that. Drag in from the top over there, you will see these quick launch uh, widgets or uh, icons including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, sound, etc. And of course you have the notifications over here, you'll see your network information along with date over here. You also have this button to quickly jump into settings. Uh, once you get into settings, uh, you can also get into about device and over here you'll see it's running Android 4.0.4 and uh, this is the new settings panel where uh, you have all of these settings over here you can go into more settings you can set up nfc so the device already has nfc in built into it uh, overall you have a lot of customizations you can also set the led indicator and what all you want the led indicator to glow for uh, you can also set up power savings you, uh, you have an application manager so a lot of customizations done by samsung but standard android uh, features are here as well. You also have developer options for those who would like to tweak around with those. Uh, if we jump into all apps over here, now this is basically a bare S3 and we've just been handling it for a couple of days. So you'll see all your favorite Samsung apps over here. You also have the Samsung application store. Uh, it's fairly uh, packed with a lot of apps now. So you can uh, download a bunch of apps uh, from here and uh, play those. They always give a bunch of free apps. So you can go into top free apps and you can download it and Flipboard again is available on this. So all you need to do is simply tap on get, it will authorize with your account and start downloading. If you have a credit card on file, you can start downloading paid applications as well. So as soon as you enter your password, uh, it will start downloading the application and it will also start showing up in the notification panel like that over there. So it's downloading Flipboard, which is officially available only for uh, the S3. You can also get Norton Mobile Security plus some other applications, uh, some which are customized for India. So those you can get. You also have S Voice and I'm going to demo that in just a minute. And uh, you also get uh, Samsung's proprietary chat on Messenger and uh, a bunch of other Samsung applications. You can also jump into Samsung More Services. Uh, where it'll go into basically into Samsung apps, but it'll show you the kind of services, the additional things that uh, Samsung allows. So you can come back into that. There, you also get the S Memo, the favorite app, um, uh, the app that w that you saw on uh, the Galaxy Note. More or less the same thing, but you have to use your finger instead of a S Pen. And again, you can always uh, use uh, the same settings, the same features as uh, you would with the S Pen and I feel it's a little more fluid with uh, uh, the fingers and uh, colors are still as vivid as ever and uh, look really nice on the screen of the device. Uh, you can customize it and instead of using a highlighter you can come into a pen 
start sketching, start drawing, start designing, whatever that you would like to do, it works fairly well. Well, so that's uh, the S note. And uh, you come back out, you also have S suggest. So uh, this is another application that Samsung has installed. Okay, so what it does is it gives you a suggestion of all the latest applications available in the marketplace. In the Samsung marketplace, in the Google marketplace, you can look at them by categories. You can add friends to it. It's like a social network. So you, if you can add friends from Facebook and you can see who is playing what game, who suggests or application and you can download it according to that. So once you come in here, you have applications laid out by categories and uh, their rankings and all of that. So that's uh, fairly decent as well. This is their planner application, a uh, fairly good application. And uh, you also have uh, the planner by week, month, year, date, all those things. And uh, you can go into a yearly planner. You can look into your agenda. You, I, you can see birthdays over here. Uh, you can look at the current week or uh, present day. All these things, really nice uh, application over here. You can set up tasks or a to-do list. And again, look at that. We're really happy with this uh, app. And uh, if you do a lot of planning, if you have a lot of schedules to keep, you can quickly set them up in the agenda or uh, the S Planner app. It's a fairly nice application by Samsung. Well, I'm also going to quickly look at the camera over here. The camera is a very nice 8 megapixel camera and it does a lot of nice uh, shooting over here as well. Uh, you can see you can shift to the front facing camera as well. And uh, again, you have flash settings, uh, you have shooting modes, single shot, burst shot, HDR. With burst shot, you can get up to 20 captures. And if you ask us, we compared the capture quality to uh, the one that we saw on uh, the HTC One X. And we feel that the capture quality on this is better. I'm not too sure if this device is better than the One X because we've not been able to compare both of them properly yet. Uh, but definitely... Uh, the device in terms of burst shot, the burst shot capability of the camera is definitely better on this. Again, you have focus modes, you have macro uh, focus, autofocus or face detection. Uh, face detection works pretty well. It captures a couple of number of faces. Again, you have uh, shortcuts, self-portrait settings, flash settings, shooting mode settings, scene modes, exposure value, focus mode, effects. You can set your image resolution, your ISO settings, metering, outdoor visibility, anti-shake is off, you can turn it on, auto, con auto contrast, guidelines, image quality. Again, you can shift to video mode and it'll shoot full HD video. Uh, you can go into settings, you can also limit for MMS. Again, you can go into full settings and uh, look at all of these things. You also have anti-shake for a video and uh, that works fairly well, in fact. So we're happy with that and we'll post some uh, video samples uh, right after this video so you'll be able to see uh, the image and the video sample in one of our videos on YouTube. So the camera is fairly decent. One last thing I'm going to do is uh, show you what the browser looks like. And the browser is a very nice uh, browser over here. So uh, let's head to iGAN.in. And as soon as you start typing in, the browser starts suggesting uh, favorite websites. It uses your uh, Google account and it starts suggesting favorite websites. Uh, we feel that the screen has a slight blue tint to it. And I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen. Of the, or on the camera, but the device does have a slight blue tint on the screen. It doesn't affect day-to-day uh, -day usage, usage in any way, but it does have a slight blue tint. Uh, you can see it loads up our website fairly fast and look how nice it looks on uh, the device. Uh, the interface is very fluid and smooth and you can zoom in, pinch to zoom in, very fluid, very smooth, uh, panning around as nice as butter and uh, you can see that it is absolutely brilliant when it loads websites up you can switch from portrait to landscape you will continue to see all sorts of animations run through all content flash content uh, media content will run through again you can pull out all the way and uh, manage uh, tabs from here so you can have multiple tabs on uh, the screen so uh, you can have multiple tabs and you can switch through tabs as easily as that and uh, come back to your main tab again Everything looks nice on this. I'm also going to quickly play a video over here and uh, let's see if I can. The minute you tap on a YouTube video, it takes you to the YouTube uh, application on the device. And uh, that's really good and it's really instantaneous. It doesn't have any lag.
recently launched in India. Uh, I have the titanium silver color in front of me and it is the 16 gigabyte capacity. Uh, the model number for this is the Galaxy Tab 310. So uh, rarely do I say this uh, and I'm really happy uh, when I'm saying this is that along with the video quality, the audio quality is surprisingly amazing and we were streaming that in high quality. It did, it did a great job of streaming the video. Uh, no lag whatsoever and the screen looks absolutely stunning and audio is equally loud and uh, you can actually sit there and watch videos without any problems. Now this device has a lot more features including S-Voice and uh, a retina sensor which shuts off uh, the display uh, the minute uh, the minute uh, you fall asleep or close your eyes and we'll uh, try and demo that in the full review uh, This is also the shake feature with the shake feature you can update news of weather and uh, by basically shaking the device so instead of uh, Pulling or refreshing all you need to do is shake the device So you can activate that and all you need to do is shake the device like this and it'll start refreshing the weather The device feels absolutely great in the hand. It doesn't seem too big uh, the Galaxy Note seems a little big to some people, but this device seems uh, fairly decent in our hands. And uh, as far as uh, basic usage is concerned, we've seen no problems with it. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do uh, before I conclude this is run a Quadrant Standard Benchmark. And before I do that, what I'm going to do now is come back to the main screen. Before I run Benchmark, so let's, let me quickly demo S-Voice as well. And uh, double tapping on the home button brings up S-Voice. And it's a fairly nice interface. I'm going to demo that in just a second. And uh, this is what the interface looks like. It kind of reminds us of Siri. I'm not sure what you mean by Everest. So it listens to what you're saying. And if it doesn't understand something, it'll do a web search. So it's very much uh, like Siri. And uh, it, it does do a good job. But it is essentially uh, the same Google Voice uh, that we've been seeing for a long time. And uh, this has uh, V-Lingo somewhere inbuilt into it. So, uh, we'll do a quick test. What's the weather? Here is the weather from New Delhi. Delhi. So, it shows you the weather. Again, it's almost identical to the same uh, city application on iOS and uh, it just shows you the weather and the weekly weather forecast so <laughs> quite identical but it does a fairly decent job of recognizing uh, your accent in india siri had a bit of a problem uh, doing that but this does a good job you can also ask it things like what's the weather in london who is the mayor of new york Again, it, if it doesn't have an answer, it will do a web search. Again, so we're going to be testing it out properly and uh, some of the things don't work on this right now. Uh, so we'll see what all works and what all doesn't work, but you're able to ask it some intelligent questions and it does recognize the accent a little bit better uh, than uh, Siri did initially. But Siri learns your accent over a period of time and now Siri on my personal iPhone recognizes my accent completely. Uh, but uh, the S voice will get it from the get-go. So that's really nice. And the last thing uh, before I run uh, Quadrant Benchmark is to show you uh, the task manager. So you hold down on the home button and you get the new ICS style uh, task manager. All you need to do is uh, swipe the apps towards the left to end the apps. So all our running apps are over here. And again, you can hold down on the button and quickly go into task manager and you have your active applications, you have your downloaded applications, you have your RAM management, so you can clear up some memory. 780 MB of usable RAM available on the device and 11.35 gigabyte of storage available after uh, everything's been used by the device itself. Now, let's quickly run Quadrant and that's gonna be the final thing that I'm gonna do for you guys on uh, this video. So here's the final score of the Galaxy S3 and uh, the device scores a 5,337 on the Quadrant benchmark, way above uh, the One X and uh, way above any other device on, 
on uh, Android right now. So that's an impressive score. And we'll have the full details of the score on our website, igan.in. So go check that out. We will be coming out with a full unboxing video, a full review video, a full featured comparison between this, the One X, and uh, the Xperia S and even the iPhone if you guys want that so leave a comment below and if you have any questions or queries about this particular phone the Galaxy S3 uh, leave those in the comment section below or on Facebook Twitter Google Plus and we will try and cover that up in the full review of the unboxing video depending on where and when we can cover that up for more unboxing videos reviews and tutorials log on to igan.in and do subscribe to our YouTube channels youtube.com slash igan youtube.com slash igan tv for igan.in this has been Bharat Nagpal thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video really really soon Take care, guys. Bye.